Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm, and I am in a short state with this film. Oh my god. So much 1990s counterculture from just flying out of this film. That, that's just the whole reason why I like it. That's why I like this film. That's my first thing I want to say. But, why I go on, this movie basically stars a ragtag team of hackers. Yes, I use the word ragtag team. Common thing in the 1990s. Something I actually like about it at that time period. But, that I have to go up against like this evil, evil corporate jerkwad, and I can't remember who he's played by, but, uh, the main character, I believe he goes by the name on the internet as Zero Cool. I love the name Zero Cool. <sighs> Before I go on. Yes, for those who have not seen this movie, it is a teen film, but it is one of the better ones and of the time period. Let me show you, because I really hate how much this goes on, but yep. Um, as you see, I got this from my local library. Hey, just like, uh, those two piece of a cow dung on Twilight movies. Yeah, I wasn't going to spend any money on Stephanie Meyer, okay? She could chill. Anyways, but basically, you know, they do all these things like hacking into telephones and hacking into computers and stuff. But, you know, they gotta stop this guy from causing a huge ecological disaster. 1990s, folks. Environmentalists were alive and well. Even though they're still alive and well now, so I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Anyways, I think the few things I like about this film, and this might be a few spoilers here. Uh, one, I love the girl that they have in this film, and she's played by... D -d 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 -d. Pardon me, I can't remember everything, but... Uh, I believe she's Angelina Jolie. Yeah, before she was in Salt, she was in this movie. In fact, that's a picture of her right there. And just kind of a cool outfit. I just love everything about hackers, from the outfits to, you know. Uh, yes, there are, I love the mom jokes, but it's not like, your mom. No, it's more like, did you really come out of the house it was, uh, with your mom dressing you or something? Or did you let your mom dress you or something? Yeah, there's boy. Uh, bash, uh, yes. Boy Meets World is referenced in this movie. I thought it's kind of cute. Um, like I said, I like, I do like Tommy, Tom, Johnny, we mean, I'm sorry. I keep thinking it's Johnny. It's Tommy or something. But, anyways, this movie was directed by Ian Softley. Okay. I plan on doing more, doing a review of another film that's an independent teen film as well. Uh, it's not done by him, but it's, uh, I think it's Alan Moyle. So, but, that I really like. But I'm not going to go into that right now. Anyways, there's also other things like uh there's the swimming part i love the swimming part that was like momentous it was just beautiful and you know here's my issue with most if at all romantic films as you found out in twilight um i don't care for the romance to take up the entire film i like side romance, or the romance to be a side plot, okay? Not that I don't think they're important, I think they're very important. But I like this because I just love, I like how they talk to each other, by the way, it's 
I don't think it's meta language, but it always sounds like it's meta. Like, things they say to each other, like they say intelligent, like, Shakespearean quotes to each other. Uh, but not, you know, I mean, not Shakespearean, but, you know, like, I thought, I, when I was a child, I thought like a child, uh, until I was, and I know I'm hacking it up, but the guy said in such a way that it interests me. I like the slacker, hacker thing, I, I, oh, when I was a child, I wanted to be a hacker. Please do not let this get to the, uh, <clears throat> the government, okay? It's not a secret, but I don't want them to know that. <laughs> Bad enough we got YouTube here. Okay? Okay. But I loved it because other reasons why I love this film is just I liked seeing a film that was just a fun teen film, okay? No over top drama, no you know, yes, they may slam the parents now and then, but you know, he actually does, the main character really does care for his parents. Yeah, there's the part where, um, the kid is, uh, the SWAT team comes in and kind of beats him up or tries to get in him, but his mom starts beating him up first. Of course, he's like, what are you thinking? Come on, get me out of here. Yeah, he's also Hispanic, so, uh, part of that's the 1990s. We don't mean to hate on the Hispanics. Okay, just letting you know. Um, I just like the weird link. Like I said, I like the weird lingo and language and how everything's said in this film. Uh, I think there's, like, a website that you can go to that's... I love it. Just, I love everything about this film. Oh, okay, just gonna say. It. Hmm. But to let you know, this film is supposedly, I think, do, do, do. Okay, what this film is rated? Oh, PG thirteen. So it's safe for kids and everything, and or at least teenagers, anyways. Uh, I guess it's a great it. Basically, think of it if this was the nine. This is the nineties way of seeing what the internet was before we got YouTube. Before we got hack. Well, actually, we've had hackers for a longer time than we like to see. If this is just the awesomeness of it all, uh, they also have like a kid who's dressed up like a hippie-ish character. I just love that. The nineties tended to. Wham down on the 70s, just a little bit, only because, uh, why? You know, what, what, what was with that? But, that's it. I don't think they really hated on it, it was just funny at the time. Anyways, I love this film. I just love it, that's all I gotta say. I probably said that at least four times, five times, who cares? I don't care how many times, I will probably say it until always in eternity. I love this film. It is, it's got like, a great, I don't even get this, oh, it's got five, no, 16 Shuriken on my opinion. But that is mine alone, no one else's. But, anyways. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Round, so you please follow me on my Tumblr and Twitter. The links will be down below. And check out this film. It is awesome to the max, my friend. You will not be disappointed. Especially if you're looking for 90s nostalgia of films. If anything. Anyways. Oh, by the way, there might be some scenes that are a little bit sexual, but let's put it this way. Nothing a mature 13-year-old can't handle. Okay, and when I say mature, okay, if he sat through Twilight, he can sit through this a little bit. It's, it's kind of quick and done. It's weird, but it's 
there's a few sex scenes that are kind of weird about this film, but I like it. And it's, you don't, I don't think you saw anything that you weren't supposed to see. Mind you, it's 1990s, it's PG-13. So, I think I saw like a PG-13 film when I was five. Of course, my parents drilled it in my head. You know, this stuff doesn't, you know, dinosaurs aren't real, da 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 You get the deal. Anyways, thank you for listening and watching. And please, 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 follow me in the links below. And thanks, please, this is Evelyn O'Malley. Sign out.